You know what I'm saying? I, I got a head full of hair, so I'm like, I already know she about to do me dirty. Folks hit me up. They've been hitting me up, and y'all talking about uh, do they pull hair? Do they uh, do they do both? Or uh, how do they? How does marry drug drug test? And yeah, them can be them. Could, they could be um, innocent questions and stuff like that. And I'm cool. I, I answer the questions and stuff. But my make sure y'all if y'all if you want to come to marry, bro, they gonna drug test you. You feel me? And that's what pro probably any and every company is. You're gonna get a drug test. So just make sure that y'all prepare for that. And you can ask questions like, how does it go? But don't be out here still smoking and you trying to go to Maverick or you trying to go wherever the case is next month or something. It ain't gonna work out like that, you feel me? The main reason why I don't smoke, I've tried smoking before. I just smoked probably like twice in my life. And it just, it wasn't doing it for me. You know, and that's just me, that's my experience. The main reason why I don't smoke though is because it's certain places I want to get in life and my mind got to be, it got to be sharp, you feel me? Like my mind got to be intact and stuff like that. Like I can't be caught slipping and things like that. Like I'm I'm real, I don't really want to call it paranoid, but like I'm just, I like to be aware of my surroundings and stuff. So the reason I don't smoke is for that very reason. Like I just got to stay on point, you know what I'm saying? If I got to pull that thing and I got to, if it, just gotta do what I gotta do, you hear me? So that's why I don't smoke. I just I like being in my right state of mind so I can stay aware. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it, everybody ain't like that. And that's cool. I don't I don't fault nobody. I don't look down on nobody who smoke or nothing like that. I got I got family that smoke. You know what I'm saying? I I've tried it before, but I don't look down on it, you feel me? It's just I just don't do it. So my experience with getting drug tested at Maverick go a little bit like this. So it was one morning we had to go line up outside in the kitchen outside of um, this door and shit like that. And there was this lady up in there. She, um, I was probably like third in line, man. And the dudes coming out after they, uh, you know, cause we was getting hair clipped. So when they come out, they were telling these stories like, oh, she had to take in my phone. I don't know, a desk noise. Anyways though. Um, so they coming out and they telling all these crazy stories like, oh, she had to take my, my armpit hair. You know I mean? She had to take the hair off my chest. I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? I, I got a head full of hair, so I'm like, I already know she about to do me dirty. You know what I'm saying? So I go in there and the lady, she like, okay, so what do you want to take it from? I can take it from your legs. I can take it from your arms. Uh, I can take it from your pit. I can take it from your head. If it, and I'm like, Ooh. I'm, a, I'm just gonna let you take it from my head. Cause all the other places, it could have been taken from there. But I'm just like, man, I'm, I, don't even, I ain't gonna even go through the house, bro. I'm just gonna let her take one of these. And when I tell you that lady took one of these, she took the whole <laughs> thing. This lady took the whole thing, dog. <laughs> right off the side of my... <laughs> the whole twist. She took the whole thing. So I'm like, you know, it is what it is. You know, I'm trying to get the job. So, that happened. I go out of there, you know, my head down. People asking what's wrong. I say I got raped. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But, you know, I'm coming out and he stuff like that. that on I'm coming out and stuff like that. And people just looking at me. I'm looking at them. You feel me? I don't really want to be looking at them. Because she just took a... She took a whole... She put a patch in my head, basically. Like, she took from the root. My, they, hold, they take it from the root. So, they cut... All the way from the root, they cut all everything. They cut, so that happened. So I go out of there, 
and I get in another line. <laughs> I'm in jail at this point. <laughs> I get in another line, and now I'm outside of the bathroom, you feel me? So, um, it was a lady in the bathroom when I went in, and uh, she handed me the cup, and um, I had to go pee. So, I went and peed and stuff like that. I, I gave her just enough, I barely, cause I, I ain't had nothing in me. So, she took it, she did what she had to do, and boom, so she, they do the, so Maverick does hair and they do urine, you feel me? And it ain't, it's really nothing to be worried about if you know you're clean, you feel me? So I knew I was clean because I don't, well, I take that back because I was drinking probably like a month prior, you feel me? So I'm over here like, okay, hair follicle, I'm all on Google, like does, does hair follicles keep um, alcohol in your system? Like all these different stuff I'm looking up and it's just like, you know, you don't really have to worry about uh, drinking. If, it's, if you're not drinking like very excessive, you ain't got to worry about drinking. So I had liquor in my system, but I was good, you feel me? So if people out there, if y'all feel like um, liquor holding you back, don't even, because it ain't going to, you know, as long as you ain't just just drunk out your mind all day, every day, you should, be, you you going to be all right, you feel me? So uh, what was I? Yeah, so that's how, that's what happened with my, that's my experience with, uh, going to Maverick, getting drug tested and stuff like that. Y'all boys, just stay clean and stuff. If you stay clean, you'll be all right. Just stay clean. If you just now getting off of your off of the weed, whatever the case, I I tell you probably stay out by six to eight months. You feel me? Stay out by six to eight months. Then come on out and get your CDL and stuff. If you really want to work for Maverick, or if you don't want to wait, just go somewhere else and you can come to Maverick later. You feel me? That's if they take you with you know dirty pee. All the real men, real niggas, real kings, real gangsters, whatever you want to call it. Have you, you know, talk with them. Bro, we got to stick together and all that good stuff. Don't let nobody come between that. Don't let nobody take your masculinity away from you. We men, you feel me? If something come off wrong or something like that, you can talk stuff out, you feel me? You can, you can get something handled without, you know, it going left or something like that. We men, you feel me? So let's keep it at that. You hear me? Daddy, watch, I'm out, man. I'll talk to y'all in the next video. Shoot.